I am Mike Stanton. It's April 9th. This is a Thursday BAM weekly mini market update. The Good Friday holiday tomorrow uh, means no trading on Friday. So I've got Grant Dewey and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Market Desk to tell us what happened up to this point in the week. So Brian, uh, some signs of life in the mini uh, primary market, more activity than we saw the last couple of weeks, still uh, depressed from the levels we had seen uh, previously up to this point in the year. Uh, can you tell us what happened? Sure. Uh, you know, I think uh, the market was pleasantly surprised by this week's activity. Uh, probably at the end of last week, most participants were expecting anywhere between, you know, two and a half and three and a half billion or so of supply. Uh, last week's uh, strong end carried over. Uh, we continued to see a firm tone in the market. Uh, buyers seemed to be supportive. So overall, what ended up coming to market on the new issue side was almost 4.9 billion. And that was going all the way through uh, this morning. There was a competitive sale for Georgia Martis. Um, so you know, it was still uh, fairly concentrated on the higher quality end. Um, you know, it seems like good geos, high essential service revenue uh, are definitely finding market access. And there definitely feels like uh, some good uh, some good follow through that that may give us some opportunity to see more deals come to market last week. So with the activity that we saw this week, we anticipate next week things starting to really, um, you know, get moving a little bit more. Um, we've got a strong pipeline uh, internally of, of deals that, that we've got ready to roll. Uh, so we expect to see uh, a decent a decent follow through next week. So there's still a substantial backlog of uh, transactions on the day-to-day -day calendar. Uh, how could you describe them? What kind of transactions are still waiting to see if they can come to market? It's really a, a pretty pretty diverse uh, backlog of deals that need to come. Uh, you know, there's everything up and down the credit spectrum. Uh, across sectors, sizes, uh, it's really kind of all over the place. Most of the market in general has kind of been on hold. Um, you know, I would say it, it seems like more of the A and lower rated uh, deals have, have been, um, you know, have been put on hold a little bit more, but even some of the larger transactions uh, and highly rated transactions are still waiting for a, uh, a more robust fund flow type of week to kind of get uh, enough buyers to line up you know, a couple hundred million to a billion plus. Um, so it's kind of all over the place um, and, uh, you know, well diversified. Great. So Grant, with the primary market still a little bit quiet, we look to the secondary market to get a tone of where yields are at. What uh, kind of activity do we see there? Uh, there's still a lot of activity, Mike. It's, um, I guess this is maybe our third or fourth week, but uh, towards the latter part of March and uh, and obviously so far in April, we really have, you know, investors, uh, you know, the Fed has done a lot to boost kind of investor confidence, but I still think uh, just from a pure credit standpoint, there's there's been a, a real pivot towards credit differentiation. And so, uh, you know, that's good for secondary insurance. We've seen, we've, uh, seen in a short week this week, um, volumes that are consistent with the previous two weeks. And, uh, and there's also, a little bit more pricing power as uh, as uh, credit spreads have returned to the market. So overall, you know, very strong environment for insurance. I think uh, I think that should continue even with the Fed liquidity, as uh, as I think that's designed short term to get uh, issuers through any kind of crunch that they might encounter. But I think longer term, there's still a lot of uh, credit assessment going on. And some, there's some uh, high-grade transactions coming through on the secondary market uh, where yeah. insurance works, even though a high underlying rating. Right. That's a good point. I mean, it's it's been across, um, you know, a wide range of sectors and, and ratings. Uh, we did um, a trade today that you might be alluding to in the secondary on a bonus rated AA2, AA plus. So it actually has a higher S&P rating currently uh, than BAM. So I think that uh, that's been a real shift also in that. Uh, people understand things can change, and there's going to be clearly some volatility and uncertainty moving forward. Great. And you mentioned the Fed inter uh, interventions to help support confidence in the market. This morning, the biggest one impacting the muni market so far, the Fed announced that they would uh, uh, lend, uh, purchase up to $500 billion of notes from states, along with some of the largest cities and counties in the country, uh, to help finance uh uh, uh, uses including deferred tax revenues because of the delayed uh, tax collection dates related to the uh, stay-at-home orders, as well as revenue losses or additional expenses related to the COVID mitigation uh, steps. Uh, those notes can have a term of up to 24 months, 
and uh, there uh, are still a ton of details left to be uh, worked out there, including how uh, some of the money may get through the states to some of the local governments. But I think the market will have a, a lot to digest over the weekend, and then uh, we'll see some reaction probably uh, early next week. So thanks. Uh, we will uh, watch uh, the new issue calendar for next week, Brian, see if some of that backlog starts coming into the market, and uh, we'll see you. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM-insured municipal bonds.